Hi, K-pop stan account here, and today I wanted to open a discussion about which K-pop girl group will dominate and lead this generation of idols into the new era. I know 4th gen stans are obsessed with this topic, so let's obsess on it even more. I wanted to see which groups would surprise us, dominate the world, lead the coming generation, and be the face of this new era in K-pop, while trying to keep bias aside. I'd like to hear your takes on this too. Alright, let's get it. I think we've seen these groups enough to fully have an idea of who truly are the 4th gen leaders. Obviously there are plenty of groups out there, but let's focus on the ones that have been on the most relevant out of all. Ipsy is probably the safest bet among everyone. They have very great and talented members especially excelling in the dance category. With only 5 members to memorize and learn, anyone can get into this group. JYP may not be the best entertainment but they have been the most consistent out of all other companies in promoting the group. Consistent comebacks and promotion all throughout their career. Hit songs like Dalla Dalla and Wannabe are proof that they are considered only after the top groups of the generation. They are good at what they are capable of and are improving day by day. Their biggest problem might be their music quality. Just like with Twice, Ipsy isn't really known for great music. They have their hit title tracks like Wannabe and all, but that's pretty much it. Compared to other girl groups in the same generation, this is where they lack. Their latest releases Not Shy and In The Morning were so heavily criticized during release and still is today. Also, most of their b-sides are an average, to a good at best, with a few exceptions. Maybe JYP sees that fans doesn't really care about the music, and as long as it gets stuck in your head, it's good. I don't see anything horribly wrong with this, but it does seem unappealing as 4th gen leaders to release bad to mid level songs while being the face of the industry. Which would also result in a lot of hate and backlash. Beat drop. Novice. Calling. Espa will be big no matter what. Just next level alone destroys everything released by other 4th gen groups. That and being under SM Entertainment, they have nowhere else to go but up. They already have all the traction they need to become the biggest group in the world. Amazing vocals, raps, choreography, and beautiful visuals is the perfect formula for a group, and they all have it. Not even one year into their career and they are already doing brand endorsements left and right. Song quality wouldn't be a problem, just look at Red Velvet and F, X, S discography. They also have an intriguing concept that can bring in new fans and attract older fans as well. Production and talent-wise, Espa is all set for success. Their biggest problem is none other than, SM themselves. We all know SM loves their boy groups, just look at NCT with their 500 members and Super Junior on their 30th comeback. SM is notorious for undermining their girl groups. Red Velvet, one of K-pop's most unique groups, gets zero to no promotion at all. If SM would go all out in promoting the girls as much as they promote their boys, K-pop would be a different scene. God I hope Espa doesn't go through the SM dungeon phase. One of the earliest groups to debut in this generation. A group with a solid and diverse lineup of members, with exceeding talents in singing, rapping, dancing, composing, and even in entertainment. A group who doesn't stick one concept and isn't afraid to try new things, but still contains their own unique sound. They aren't merely idols, they are artists on their own rights. Their problem? Well, they are the problem. I don't know and don't really want to talk about the scandals that happened, but it had to be said. In such a short career, they've stained their own name and brand. No matter how much they try, it will stick with them forever until the day they disband regardless of whether it's true or not. Especially with a member leaving the group, it will be hard to bounce back after this. And I know K-pop stands will hold it against them forever, which is why I can't see them being the leaders for now. The two biggest names in this new wave of 4th gen groups. Both newly debuted and already have massive hits under their belt, all that while being under small companies. 
I put these two together because they both are similar in their talents and their career. Going through the same phase of a promising debut to releasing the biggest hits of the summer. They are both very well loved by fans even outside their fandoms. Praised by the media and general public. Also while idol groups bop to their songs every live. Nothing is better than supporting a small group with great talents and seeing them grow every time until they reach the top. I know a lot of us are rooting for their success and I can't wait for what's in store. If these companies play their cards right, they could be household names in the industry. If you asked me two years ago who I thought would be the leaders for this generation, I'd undoubtedly say Luna. Talent, concept, production, they had everything. But time goes by, and newer more promising groups rise up which leaves Luna under the dust. I already made an in-depth look video made about why I think Luna will never be big, let alone 4th gen leaders, so please check it out and watch the whole video. But to summarize it, it all comes down to BBC and their poor management on Luna. BBC is too small and incapable of handling such a big group like Luna. It would be better off if Luna was under a different company with the passion and budget that fits Luna's standards. It doesn't seem unlikely now since buying companies are a trend these days, but other than that, Luna has no hope. Eyes One had it all. Great members, great production, great talents, self-producing, big names, countless endorsements and magazines, great music with some hits here and there, consistent management compared to others, great connection with fans, loved by Korea and Japan, the two biggest markets for K-pop, had the greatest album in all of 4th gen, one of the best debuts and three album runs in K-pop, the best selling 4th gen act, they really had it all. And then they disbanded. These are groups that have been just there for most of the time. They aren't any better than the groups I've mentioned, and they also aren't any worse. The problem with these groups is they don't have much traction with the fans and the public. Either it may be their fault that these groups are failing, or the group itself isn't interesting at all. And we all know popularity plays a major role in being the leader. There are still a lot more groups on their way, so we can never really tell who truly will be the leaders. But for them, and even for groups who have already debuted, I only got one thing to say. Girl groups like Girls' Generation, Twice, Wonder Girls, Blackpink, 2NE1, and more have been role models to these new generation of idols. K-pop girl groups have always been the gems of the industry. Loved by everyone of any age, gender, race, and etc. Girl groups have remade themselves each and every generation exceeding expectations from fans every single time. And in my own opinion, as a group, and especially as a leading one, you have to do something that separates you from the others, whether it be concept or music. In an industry that is so demanding and where every trend keeps changing, you have to keep up while still being unique. And even better if you are the trend setters yourselves. All that while maintaining the love and trust of all your fans. It may be a lot to ask but for being the face of an industry that keeps growing, I think this is just the bare minimum. <laughs>